you see the, the lines? What are these lines? So, well, these would be the lines for each hour. Right. right. And so they just simply divided the day into 12 equal parts mm -hmm. and marked them off here. And, of course, in the winter, the sun would be up in the sky for less time. Mm. And so that little shaft of light would move around here faster. Right. And it would cover one of these hours in less time. And so that would have been about 45 of our modern minutes. Mm. Whereas in the summer, when the sun is up there for longer, that little shaft of sunlight moves more slowly. And it takes about 75 of our modern minutes to cover one of those hours at this latitude here near Rome. So the hours were literally longer in the summer. Yeah, right. And I mean, I call them stretchy hours, but officially these are called seasonal hours. And that's the way you told the time in the ancient world, unless you were a doctor or an astronomer. And they had equinoctial hours, but for normal people, you told the time using these seasonal hours, which were, I mean, obviously longer in the summer and shorter in the winter. So what we do is we pretend that it's the equinox every day. Right. In our modern system. Exactly. And only at the equinox would, you, would, would it take one, 60 of our modern minutes for this little shaft of sunlight to cross one of those hours.